Indians were once fought on the ground, but the scenario has changed entirely. In today's time, everything rests on narrative. You win the narrative, you win the war, and similarly, the other way around. Something of the same sort is happening with Vladimir Zelensky, the Ukrainian president. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Tejasvi Malhotra. And if you haven't subscribed to the TFI English channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. Coming back to the story in this video, let's talk about the new tactics adopted by Zelensky and how they will fail in case of India. Vladimir Zelensky, the comedian turned president of Ukraine, has lost his war against Russia and his desperation stands exposed in the open. The arising situation has raised many questions on the leadership of Zelensky. His day of reckoning has arrived. Thus, Zelensky has now resorted to picking sacrificial lambs for blaming his failures. According to the presidential website, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky sacked ambassadors to different nations on Saturday. The website reported that Zelensky dismissed the Kyiv's ambassador to India, Germany, Czech Republic, Norway and Hungary. No specific reason was given for the sacking of ambassadors. However, President Zelensky referred to it as a normal diplomatic process. The future of these envoys hangs as it has not been reported whether these envoys would be handed new jobs or not. It was not very earlier when the Ukrainian diplomats had been briefed about shoring up support for Ukraine in the ongoing crisis. The countries on point were the ones who have been neutral or continued to engage with Moscow. In the recent sacking, Zelensky fired some of the seasoned diplomats. Ukraine's former ambassador to India, Igor Polika, was sent to India in 2014 as a man who speaks Hindi. Polika did everything to convey his concerns to New Delhi. In the same manner, Kyiv's envoy to Germany, Andrei Melnik, has been posted in Berlin since 2014. The tough diplomat has been vocal about Germany's reluctance to take on Russia. The sacking of these envoys cannot be a normal procedure, as anyone having a basic understanding of geopolitics can understand that the diplomats have been punished as they failed to gather support for Ukraine. The hidden reason behind the sacking of ambassadors can be thus connected to failure of shoring support from the respective nations they were posted in. Zelensky, like every other coward pseudo leader on earth, has been on a constant hunt or a fall guy and the analysis of recent happenings suggest he has got many of them to blame upon. Earlier, Zelensky has accused the Ukraine's spy chief of passing crucial information to the Red Army. He then blamed the down and out army of Ukraine of deserting and not following his orders. Now he is busy sacking the envoys just as to blame them for not getting international support. After single-handedly destroying Ukraine to fill his own coffers, all that Zelensky wants is to get a sacrificial lamb and blame it for the entire cures actually spread by him. India has long before abandoned the policy of submitting to international pressure and today's India makes its own way. It adopts the way which is in national interests and India adopted the same way out during the Russia-Ukraine crisis. There was a lot of pressure from the West to bring India on their side but the West, especially US, couldn't succeed in changing India's stance towards the conflict. Kiev, especially Zelensky, should actually be grateful to India for practicing a policy of neutrality and not openly supporting its all-weathered friend Russia. And Zelensky should understand that it is impossible for any power around the world to dictate India and get India submitted to their direction. And sacking of invoice won't do any benefit to the war-torn country. It is better for Zelensky to respect India and its strategic autonomy instead of bullying it for unilateral submission. 